She's in Sydney. We're interviewing Erica the Cassia. So Erica and I have been trying to link up for five months now, maybe since her album release. We're trying to do something in LA, didn't work out. I was trying to do something for the podcast, didn't work out. But she's doing a couple shows and I'm seeing them both. So I hit up everyone I could and now we're going to go for a walk. And I brought snacks. It's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome to my party. It's funny. Say hello. When did you get in? Two days ago. Two days ago? Yeah. From home? Uh, from, yeah, from home. Probably. How are you with sun? Are you I'm okay? Good with sun. I have yeah? Shades. I was wondering if you were going to wear shades. All right. I think we're good. So, are you hungry? Yes. <laughs> There are things. There are things there are that you, things. What did you, bring? you can have. <gasps> a muffin! A banana and banana. something. Banana, banana chocolate, maybe? Maybe. Banana this bread? Is, no. no, this is, what is this? It's like a Japanese uh, chiffon cake. Okay. Yeah, it's really lovely. It's, That's it's noon. Nice. That's true. It's noon and I don't want you Thank to be hungry. You. How many times have you been here? I'm going to guess four? It's three times. Three times. Yeah, it's how do you perceive your own career right now? Are you happy? Is it successful? I see it as, I, th I feel I have a lot of success because of my, um, the way I feel about it now. The way I feel about it is the success for me. Because yeah. if you, you do something and it gets a lot of external success, but you feel, you don't feel good about Empty. it. Yeah. Is it success? I, I do feel very successful right now. Because yeah. I feel good about what I'm doing. Let's have some muffins. Yeah, please. It's chocolate. Mm. This is nice actually. It's so good. <laughs> Where were we? How did the New Jeans experience, did it change you? Like it's a big scale thing. Like now that you look at the streams of it all. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, how did that impact you? Because you know, it, it took a while from, you know, we wrote it and before it was um, released. You know, seeing the, the videos and I just thought, whoa, this is, this is, this is crazy. Big budget, shiny. Yeah. I loved it. The biggest thing for me was going to the club afterwards and then hearing it. Oh, crazy. And then standing there knowing I knew, but I felt like nobody else knew. And I just, I really loved that. And and I, I'm just so proud of it, really, that yeah. it's um, something I helped create. Did you know it was going to be a pop hit? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I knew that New Jeans were already a really big act and... The reason why I wanted to work with them was because they seemed like they were really also trying to bring something new to the table, which I thought was really interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that it would become such a mega mega hit. No. Do you know how how much your how unique your melody choices are? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because Thank you, but I, I know. <laughs> you wouldn't have seen it. But when I made the first video about Super Shy when it came out, mm. I was like, this melody is so Erica de Cassie. And I didn't even know. I didn't even know that you'd co-written it. Oh, uh, yeah. And I can, I, I'm not going to sing it because you're in front of me, but you know the, <laughs> the you know the run. And I was like, it's so Erica de Cassie. And then someone wrote in the comments, she co-wrote it. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Of course, yeah. like it makes sense now. But like, there were, like for me as a fan and a, a listener that had no idea that you'd co-written it. Oh, right. You, the melody was like that's so Erica. Oh, cool. Like, but you don't know that you're doing that. No, I th I don't think I would be able to be like, oh yeah, that's that's my the Erica line. <laughs> that's my type of melody. No, also because I'm also just a bundle of my own references. So, but I'm really glad you think so. <laughs> that, like, as a biggest compliment. I think also that says something about your ear. Yeah, <laughs> perhaps. Yeah, yeah. As well. Do you feel like after having something that was so massive like that that you're like, okay, I did it. I've proven to myself that I can do it. Would you do it again? Are you searching to do that again? Or are you like, well, it has to be the right environment? I think it has to be the right environment. Also, it'd be kind of sad if I chased, chased it forever from now on and never got another hit, if that was yeah. the uh, goal. Was it validating? Did you want that in oh, your yeah. career to be like, I made a smash? I mean, I didn't know smash. I wanted it. I didn't know I wanted it, but when I got it, I was like, this is cool. I don't mind it. <laughs> also because it didn't change my life in terms of like I didn't it wasn't me going yeah. down the street and being chased you know like yeah. I, I I felt like it was it was just a um, 
just the biggest compliment that they chose to work me on that song. Do people ask you to sing Super Shy? <laughs> oh no, they don't. But uh, that would be weird. <laughs> I feel like it's so so much their track. I feel yeah. like it's their track. Yeah. I don't feel like it's my track. So I, I no, I, I don't feel the need to, to play it. What was it like to see a, a, an elaborate dance made to your music? Is that weird? That was amazing. More of that. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty like cool. to have, you know, this, this, this move yeah, and stuff yeah, too, yeah, or something yeah. you wrote. That was so cool. You that won an award for it. Yeah. Yeah, with Fina. How do you say it? Fina? Yeah. Fina? Yeah. yeah, I like her music too. But we're really award. good friends. She also lives in Copenhagen. And yeah. it, it was a Danish music award. Yeah. So we won the Songwriter of the Year award. And it, yeah, it was just such a fun night because we weren't expecting to win it. I don't huh. know. We're not like huge artists in, in Denmark. We thought we're going to go there. We're going to have a fun night. You know, we were eating soup <laughs> while they were <laughs> announcing who, who the winner was. And we were just like... <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it speaks to them that they could recognize, like obviously yeah. it was deserving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like looking back, of course, like it makes it makes total sense because it, it was a, a a big international hit. I'm so proud and also to have done it with friends as well and also yeah. with Smats, yeah. with the, the ASAP track. Great, oh. there's a bird on the camera. It's beautiful. Don't touch anything, please. <laughs> yeah, <it's>, uh, <laughs> what is the Denmark scene like? It's blooming. Scene? Is it? It's blooming. I'm gonna tell you. It's Please. Blooming. It really is. More and more of uh, our community is really, really active and making amazing music. Yeah. Especially songwriters. I, yeah. I, I think, you know, we have like ML Book and Fini Glinvel and Eskil Sonne and uh, Clarissa Connolly. I don't know if you. Yeah. And Nova, Vulnerable, CTM. There's just like, I can, I can CTM, just keep. I like CTM. Yeah, CTM is great. And it's just so inspiring to be a part of because all of a sudden it's just, it's blooming. Do you feel like there's a character that comes from Copenhagen now? I don't know, maybe an, uh, a kind of introvertedness? Mm, mm. I would say a, a melancholy and a. Is it the weather? Is it the location? That's... I mean, probably we do spend. 70% of the year inside yeah. when it's cold and you know because you have like Norway and Sweden and it's beautiful and there's mountains and snow <laughs> Denmark is flat yeah. no mountains and there's no snow it's just gray cold you know unless you really do something there's not really much interesting to <laughs> do uh, so I think we rely really much like a lot on the culture and and the yeah. colors that we can make ourselves I think if you if you come from maybe the States to Denmark, you think, oh, people are so shy here or they're so, you know, it's, it's hard to make friends here or, and it isn't because people don't want to, it's just people are, I think you would call them reserved compared to yes. other nations maybe. Yeah. Yes. Wait, I have a good point here. Mm. Cause there's this book, how cultures create emotions. A child in America. Yeah. is raised to make it in a sense that, you know, there's a lot of people here. You have to, you know, elbows out, yeah. the, you know, the American dream. Yeah. You can um, go from nothing to something. So you raise a child to uh, live in that society, yeah. to survive in that society. And for that, you have, you almost have to be more extroverted. You have to yeah. be able to claim your worth. In Denmark is a, is an old like socialistic country and you have this you have to make room for everybody else as well you know mm. don't think you're the shit just because you are a famous singer doesn't mean you're better than the person taking out the trash like we're raised more in like you, you try to say oh yeah you're really good at that yeah but also make sure to make room for your neighbor and that comes through in the collaborations i think so maybe that's why because it's a matter of also make like making room well, thank you thank you i don't think there'll be an end in any particular no you know official yeah. way well, this was nice <laughs>